These are the most used kits in my collection. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. On just about a daily basis, I am going to carry at least this bag right here with me and an HT. Now my favorite HT is still the Yaesu FT5. I absolutely love that particular radio. To go along with that, I've got one of these two bags. Now they kind of work in conjunction with one another. At one time, I kept all of this kind of in one kit, but I found myself not wanting to grab it because it was just a bit too bulky to put in my backpack every single day. So now I've got things divided up. This bag is the one I'm going to grab definitely on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm leaving the house. Basically, if I'm just going to be gone for a few hours, I'll grab this one and have everything that I might need. If that's going to be a longer trip, uh, say more than 24 hours, I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to grab this bag as well. Yes, it's a bit bulkier having to carry both bags, but it gives me a lot of capability. And when the small bag is paired with my iPhone, it allows me quite a bit of digital capabilities or I can pair this bag with the Evolve laptop and pretty much have a full-blown digital system on two meters and 440. So let's go ahead and dive into these and I'll show you guys exactly what I keep with me. We'll start with the smaller of the two bags and this is the one that rides around in my backpack almost every single day. On the outside of the pack, you'll find just a few things. I do keep a Ziploc bag right here in this outer mesh compartment folded up. I use it in conjunction with some uh, string inside if I need to get an antenna higher up into the tree. Also note that I do keep one of these small little carabiners right here just clipped to uh, the zip pulls on this. On the back you'll find just a simple little gear tie that's here. It can come in helpful for all sorts of little things. Now let's go ahead and break it open and see what we've got inside. Now remember the primary function of this is so I can keep cell phones charged, both mine and my wife's. So what you'll find right over here is just a couple of USB cables. So USB-A to micro USB and then an adapter that takes me over to lightning. In addition to that, we also have a USB-C type cable in there as well. We'll get to the battery bank here in just a second. I do like to keep a pin in here just in case my primary pin goes dead. That's always in there as a backup. And then we've got a couple of cables under here that we can use uh, with the MobiLink TNC. And of course, no kit is complete without a few zip ties. So there's uh, five or six of those in there as well. On the back back here behind this, we have a fold out type keyboard. This is uh, used with the cell phone if I want to make a Winlink connection using Radio Mail or Wode on the Android device. Back here, I just keep some spare cash in an envelope just in case it might be needed. And that's pretty much everything on this side of the pouch. Now, going over to this side, Here's that string that we talked about earlier. This is what I use in conjunction with that Ziploc bag. I can put a few rocks in there and get the antenna a little bit higher. The antenna of choice in this pack is a small roll-up J-Pole antenna. This one is made out of that really small twin lead, and I don't believe this particular antenna is available anymore. I wish it was because I like how small it rolls down. In the back is that battery that we can use to keep those cell phones charged. So just a couple of USB-A out ports on the front of it and then the micro USB for recharging this pack should we need to. The last two items in here is a backup battery for the FT5, which is my everyday carry radio and the MobiLink TNC. This one happens to be a TNC-3. I've got both this uh, version and the TNC-4 and love both of those. And that's it. I try to keep this bag as minimal as possible so I don't hesitate to grab it and throw it in my backpack on a day-to-day -day basis. Enough capabilities to get me by. I can use the cell phone with a MobiLink TNC and easily be able to check 
my WinLink messages if I need to. Now let's take a look at the extra bag that I carry. This one is quite a bit larger, quite a bit more uh, equipment inside, and gives me a bit more capability. Let's start right on the outside compartment here. Starting on the outside flap, you'll find a power cable here. This one is 5.5 millimeter barrel connector, and then there's a, an adapter on here that will charge the Yezu style HTs. We've got a couple of USB uh, cables up here. This one is the lightning for the iPhones, and then I keep a USB-C in here as well. Just a couple of extras. Uh, when we grab the second pack. I do keep a little uh, USB GPS device. I have stripped this one out of its plastic housing and just put some shrink, uh, heat shrink tube over it to give it a little bit of protection. This is nice if I do have the laptop with me. I've also got uh, a GPS here that I can use. Of course, more zip ties and then a USB thumb drive with a lot of data and documents on it that I might need. So a lot of different uh, manuals for radios, things like that. Let's look in this compartment here, and what you're going to find is a couple more batteries right here on the outside. This is yet another battery for the FT5, and this one is a backup battery for the FT70. In this pouch back here, I keep another couple of Ziploc bags, and then a hank of paracord that I can use if I need it. Let's go ahead and dive into the main portion of the pack. This thing is stuffed full. The first thing you'll notice in this kit is a backup radio. So this is the FT70. I can either use it as a backup or if I wanted to set up, say, an APRS Digipeter, I could use this radio to do that while I'm using the FT5 for something else. I do keep a DigiRig in this particular pack, and this one is set up to work with the FT70 or the FT5. I prefer the DigiRig because it gives me more capability than the MobiLink TNC does. However, I can't Bluetooth to this thing from my phone, so that's why you see both the DigiRig and the MobiLink in this pack. In the next compartment here is one of the Talent Cell batteries. Uh, I've really come to enjoy these batteries because I can get 12 volts out if I need it, and it also gives me an extra USB-A port on it. In the bag down there, you'll see several other power cables and power adapters for various things that I need. Just beside where that Talent Cell came out of is a Raspberry Pi 4. This one is set up uh, primarily to do Winlink connections over uh, 2 meters, either with Packet or Vara FM. There's also a lot of other stuff loaded on here that I could use if I chose to. There is also a spare micro SD card in case the one in the Raspberry Pi fails, and I keep a backup of that Raspberry Pi in here as well. And taking a look at that last backup date, I'd say it's uh, definitely time to back that thing up. But not much has changed on it, so I really haven't worried about it. I also keep a micro uh, USB to USB-A adapter in here. I would need that uh, possibly if I needed to do a backup or restore from one of those micro SD cards. And then I also have uh, some information in here that I laminated, just telling me exactly what's going to happen when I boot up this particular Raspberry Pi. So I've got an auto script that runs on here at boot, and if the sound card is plugged in at boot, then the packet modem will automatically start. If the sound card is plugged in after the boot, then the Vara FM modem will auto start. That way I can use that Raspberry Pi with my phone without ever actually having to VNC into it to set things up. Next up, you'll find one of the BNC mag mount antennas. I got this from Signal Stuff, and I love this because this gives me an option of taking the regular Signal Stuff antenna and getting it outside of a car if I was in a vehicle that uh, didn't have a radio in it. That's all that's in that compartment, and we're almost done. Also, do keep another one of those twin lead roll-up J-poles in here that I can utilize. I keep a couple of adapters in here in case I need them for working with different coax. And I keep a signal stuff antenna folded up in here. This goes with the FT70 that you saw a minute ago. And then it looks like a old leftover component in here. 
is a nifty quick reference manual for the uh, FT65R. That used to ride around in this case until I picked up the FT70. So there's a look at the kits. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found some useful tidbits in it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.